أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفخه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعيد بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل الفلا تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى أهله البر الميامين وعلى صحابته المدلسين بالدستور وعلى من استنى سنتهم وانتهج بمنهجهم ولف بلفهم لا يرث الله الأرض ومن عليها وإلى الله عقبة الأمور All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wholeheartedly, the Lord of the entire universe. He gives us, we do not give back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He makes sustenance for all of us. Nobody feeds Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all shall return back to our base, Allahu Akbar Kabiru, at the appointed time. Minha khalaqanakum, wa fiha nu'idukum, wa minha nukhrijukum, taratan ukhra. We only mark in our times. We shall return to Allah SWT at the appointed time. We ask Him to grant all of us pronouncement of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at the point of death. May Allah SWT continue to shower His blessings upon the noble soul of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, members of His households, companions, and the generality of Muslims till the day of recompense. Amen. Respected elders, brothers and sisters alike, today, inshallah, Kareem. The topic of our sermon, Mawani'ul Istijaba. Mawani'ul Istijaba. What prevents our prayers from being answered? Why are our prayers not being answered? Allahu Akbar Kabiru. Are you a shaking? Ma bi kadam. Kun jamila. Tara al wujuda jamila. A good number of people today are mushakin. They report Allah SWT up and down. That their prayers are not being answered by Allah. They have waited. They have been waiting. They have their target. Yet, they have not received that Allahu Akbar Kabiru. A call from Allah that will show to the extent that Allah SWT has offered or accepted their, their prayers. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Allah told Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whom in turn also told the Sahaba, by extension, they relay the same message to you and I. In Surah Al-Baqarah, beneath the verse of Ramadan, Allah says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّعْنِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ Oh, you Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell your ummah that إِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي Whenever my servants approach you, they ask about me, Allah. Find me, Qareeb. Tell them that I'm not far from them. Qareeb, I'm near. Allahu Akbar. For people, because of the love they have for Allah, some even name their own association Qareeb. Allahu Akbar, Kabira. Find me, Qareeb. Allah says, I'm closer to them. I'm not far away. Ujibu da'an wa tadda'an is a da'an. And I respond to every supplicant at any point in time he supplicates to me. I obey the call of the caller. I answer. To somebody who inquires, who calls upon me, Allah SWT. Allah says, فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُونِ For me to obey them, to answer, فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُونِ Tell them Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they should obey me first. They should obey my own call. What is the call of Allah to you and I? Allah made mention, Surah Al-A'raf, before we came to this dunya, He has gathered all our souls. He says, Allah to be Rabbikum. Am I not your Lord? All of us responded before we found ourselves in this dunya that Bala, of course, you are our Lord. Shahidina and Tepulu, Roman Kiyama. Allah SWT says, they bear witness upon themselves, and then you, Rasulullah, you bear me witness. So that on the day of Kiyama, you will not change your own tone. Nobody will have any excuse whatsoever against Allah, either not against Prophet Muhammad. That's why we have been following our kutubah in sequential. Before, waves, even waves, storm of al-Jahiliyyah is blowing all over. 
then you are expected to dodge. You are expected to run away for your dear life. Last week, we also talked about consequences of sins to the community, to the society, to a nation, to the world entirely. Now, today, people are reporting Allah that we have been praying. I want to do this. I want to do that. I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been doing nafila. Yet, Allah has not obeyed, or Allah has not responded, or Allah has not granted me istijaba. Prophet Sallam asked me to come nearer. As Allah SWT says, Inni qareeb. I'm not far away. When the verse was revealed, the Sahaba, they thought they could go and be calling Allah SWT, as people do today. And most unfortunately, some Muslims are also trading in that regard. Some believe until they go on top of a mountain before they can call Allah SWT. Kalla walla. Some believe until they go to a particular river for salvation, for whatever. All these things are more and well Allah will be an insult all. Because of rain, we we'll take few from Mawane. Those things that you and I, once you are involved in them, then your istijaba, your prayers are withheld. It is yourself that need to unbottle. It is yourself that need to undress your table. Because Allah SWT, Allah doesn't fail his no promise. He says, in the Quran, let them obey my own call. That work of the of Buka Allah Tabudu illa iyahu wabil wali de nexana. Let them obey my own call by running away from shirk. Allahu Akbar Kabiro. Then Allah SWT says, Well, you mean be. Let them renew their iman every now and then. It is not enough for you and I to profess Islam. That we are Muslims. No, every blessed day you checkmate yourself. Are you still a Muslim or you are far away from Islam? Because we don't do this muhasaba to nafs on daily basis. I've done by Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I've done by Umar bin Khattab, radiallahu ta'ala an, Ibn Umar, all of them, every blessed night as they go to bed, they review everything they did in that day before they went to bed. I will mention this always. Five daily prayers. How many ones did you say in congregation? How many ones did you say only your own that you have finished congregation? How many ones you did you run away from? Or how many ones did you combine in the office of the DG? Whereas the masjid is there open. All these things. You fail to hasibu and fusa kukobla and to hasabu. Before normal kiyama comes. That day, la bafi. There is no any ambiguity, no anything called argument about yom al kiyama. Will there be yom al kiyama? You are wasting your time if you are still asking the question. Mankani yarudu liko arabbihi. Whosoever believes that you meet Allah SWT and is expecting, as Allah SWT made mention also, surah al kaf, surah al ahzab, you need to get prepared. Now, why are people? Counting, shouting today that their prayers are not being answered. There are about 11 points. Because of rain, we take few. And then we bring ourselves away from, from the hadith of Prophet Muhammad. Number one, mentioned by Prophet Muhammad is that Al Ingimas, Al Ingimas fi Akli Riba, or Akli Haram. Somebody who is enmeshed everything about his life, his source of income is from haram. Where he spends, haram. Wherever he goes, haram. Every transaction he does, haram. Allahu Akbar. One would ask today, is there any halal thing left? Some brothers will say, Kai, if you don't eat haram, man, you cannot survive in Nigeria. Kalla walla. It's a blatant lie. However porous the country might become, however porous our community could become, there are still those who are within the confines of Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah make you an from among them. For those Akilul al-Haram, why the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet sallam made mention, because of time, that someone, he appeared always asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sustenance, for this, for that, for this, for that. But everything, Allahu Akbar, where he gets his money from is haram. If it's on haram, 
He wears clothes on haram. Everything about him is haram. Rasulullah says, how will you say How will Allah respond to that kind of scholar? Allahu Akbar Kabir. We made mention today, and we continue to reiterate, better Niger or better Niger, king to whatever you call it, up to the extent that people are going to the masjid, they are still carrying their phones, betting, betting with dogs, with pogs, with whatever, just to get money, get rich quick. Whatsoever the proceeds you get from it, you can never ever have barakah of Allah SWT on it. And that is why people will be asking, I've been praying, I've been doing this and that. No. Remove, try to reduce your affiliation with haram and see whether Allah SWT will obey your call or not. Number two, number two, Adam al Amru bil Ma'roof, Wallahi Munkar. Neglecting, advising people upon goodness or advising people upon a righteousness, or al Munkar, and then refusing to give people advice. Allahu Akbar Kabir. When you see people, Al Amru bil Ma'roof, you tell people, whenever you see anything good, you commend people, you ask them to do further. And whenever you see anything detestful, anything hated by Islam or forbidden, then you talk over it, you talk against it, and then you advise people to run away from it. But today, al Amr bin Ma'roof or Nahim al Munkar, it is being put aside. And Hadith of Prophet Muhammad says, La nas bil Ma'roof. Either for you, you shall encourage one another to do good, to be on the right path. Wala Tarhan and al Munkar. And you also prevent people from evils. Oh, la yusalli tanna alaykum, Allahu Akbar kabiru, shirarakum. As otherwise, Allah SWT will make as your leaders, those who will not have any sympathy, any kind-heartedness, Allahu Akbar, human face for you. If you refuse to correct what is bad, because Allah is somebody, or brother somebody, or they are somebody, are the ones involved. Because of that, you keep quiet. And what, when people do good, you refuse to advise people upon that goodness. Then everybody means, only myself and my family, everybody for this harm. At the end of the day, the community will pay back, the society will pay back, the country will pay back. At the end of the day, Allah SWT will not accept your prayers. Allahu Akbar Kabir. Now we talk of LGBTQ. We talk of other rascalities, of different grades. Allahu Akbar. There's need al -jins. The man for man, woman for woman, in our society, and people keep quiet. When you talk, some will say, Kai, no, you don't go in that area. Whereas, those who are involved, most unfortunately, among them are Muslims, Muslim brothers and sisters. Homosexuality. Except few, whom Allah SWT has bestowed his rahma upon them. May Allah extend his rahma to all of us. Whomsoever participates in homosexuality, in like LGBTQ, how would you today? People are saying you are still following somebody, Bob Risky. You are following him, or you are following her. Ask yourself, is it him or her? Allahu Akbar Kabiru. Allahu Akbar Kabiru. Some people will be said to have given her or given him a cover. We don't know. Is it him or her? But in the history of mankind, we have never heard when a lady bears the name Idris, not even David. A big slap on our faces and bigger slap on the faces of the small, small Dajjal among the Muslims, those who are following him or following her on Facebook, Twitter, handle, or whatever. Bigger slap, Latus Alumna Yawaydin. I mean, Naim, you shall recall back on the day of Kiyama, why did you follow on what ground? If you see that, it's my left, it's my celebrity, celeb, celeb, celeb. The worst of celeb is frown. The worst of celeb is frown. What is he doing today? The same place he had governed, he had declared himself the Lord of that place. Till today, people do their things, they don't, they forgot that he's lying somewhere far. Off. And today, a good number of our brothers, they are following the trend. Somebody who wants to be he, who wants to be she, another person, transgender, cross-gender, all this gender, gender, they will land in Jahannam. Illa man taaba. You saw our brothers today, a Muslim brother who played this here. And people will say, What is that? There's one of Zamanini. Nah. Nuibu Zamana now and Ibu Fina. 
Wama li zamani na aibu siwana. We only condemn the zaman that is time. Gen Z doesn't concern Allah SWT. Call it Gen Zero. Gen whatever you call it. Once you go back to Allah SWT, Allah did not put anything like Gen Z in his book. Neither the Prophet ﷺ knew anything about Gen Z. Another thing that makes our prayers not to be answered by Allah SWT. Qatiyah to Rahim. Allahu Akbar Kabiru. Cutting off family ties. Cutting off family ties. Prophet ﷺ made mention hadith. Allah SWT will not accept dua of Qatiyah to Rahim. Somebody who severe his kinship today because of reporting Allah, reporting against Allah, the soothsayer, misfortune tellers, astrologers, all the people, brokers, either Malam or whoever, he shall say, you may call them any, anything. Reporting to them, they have made some people to cut the ties, not only with the family members, but with their biological mothers. Some believe their mothers are the source of their travail. At the end of the day, they have seen themselves in Abuja. They don't call home. They don't go home. We've seen so many cases. I don't give a damn when the people who are involved are not Muslims. I don't give a damn. But Allah talked. I will somebody give your head a factory reset to the extent that the mother that labored, that suffered, she is now your biggest enemy on the surface of her. Why? Because Adam is tawakkul on Allah. Why? Because patronizing soothsayers. No hadith of Prophet will tell you to turn your back against your mother. La. Even if she's a deaconess, even if she's a deaconess, she's a pastor, she's reverend sister, for the fact that you came to this dunya through her, وَقَدَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِ لَيْنِ إِحْسَانَ Not only mothers now. Some, they are, they are in Abuja, they don't go home at all. How? Village people, my village people, they are at it again. Your village people will remain. Your village will remain as at the day, the day Allah has legislated that you go back, you must die that day. You must die that day. Prophet Salah was born in Mecca. He relocated to Medina. Yet today, he's been buried. We have his surrounded to Sharifa within the masjid in Medina. Is the people of Medina, are they not doing their lives today? Then who are you? Who am I compared to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Anything he has told you and I, you will find nothing there but peace and tranquility. Now, for those who have caught the ties with their family members, go and reunite that. Opportunity is still open for you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, you just be landing up and down until you return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Prophet sallam will not tell lies. Some believe, no, they did not help me. When we lost our father at the tender age, nobody came to our rescue. I had to suffer. I traveled to Kano, from Kano to Portacot, from Portacot. All these things are stories. Today, you are somebody by the right and privilege of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah tells you, go back there. Give them their own rights. Even though they were not with you, they did not support you. Allah wants you to remember them. You don't need to be going one by one. Combine them, send them money, see them. Don't run away as long as you remain within the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad. But go to Susi and say, don't ever go back there. If you go to your family house, go make sure you go by 10 a.m. Dot the first human being you meet, that's your worst enemy. And when you get there, the first human being you met, he was even ah Allah Akbar, Allah. Masha Allah. It could be your father, it could be your mother. And you say, Kai. Somebody just mentioned something like that it's two days ago. Wallahi al-Azim. To know that it's not from newspaper. The car is my bad luck. Who's bad luck? Wallahi al-Azim. Ku and Fusa Kuwa Halikum now. So they have reset their factory, their faculty. They don't pick anything from Kuala Allah, Kuala Rasul. Until they go and see one woman inside bush. Ah, how will somebody stay inside bush while you are in Maitama? Don't you think the person also likes to stay in Jariki? But the Jews, she is using all he is using. They confide him or her dead. That don't go out of this place. People will still come because it's the market of Shaitan. Wherever ever. When people they are doing anything in the open place, they will not go. But that of Shaitan, Shaitan will lead them there. Cut the link between you and your Shaitan, otherwise. 
you shall call Allah SWT will not answer you. Number five, respect the and brothers in Islam. Is that to trample upon the right of Allah Himself. Allahu Akbar. What the right of Allah? Allah says, Hadithul Kudusu. Ana in the Zonni Abidi B. I am wherever my servant thinks I am. Allahu Akbar. Jalla Jalaluka Ya Allah. Wherever my servant thinks I am, I am there. Allah SWT is giving you a river that don't do anything, worship him, call upon him, he's ever ready for you. But human beings, kalla walla, you go and meet somebody, thinking that of Allah SWT is slow. Many people hold that belief. Say, Anna, so call Quran, every Sunday, last Sunday of the month. But anything that happens, he doesn't believe in that Quran. He's looking for food. Baba, 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 who is that Baba? Baba can I know? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajun. You have shifted the right of Allah to that person. One day you shall go and say, Baba, Allah, Jikam, Baba, Allah, Adama. If he did not die upon shirk, if he dies upon shirk, in Allah, Allah, Kura, you shall be. Where Kura Maduna Dali Kalimun Yasha. With that, people look for instincts. As a result of that, Prophet Sallam says, Allah will not accept the dua of somebody who is tasty. They are calling Allah. Say, I've been calling Allah, I've been calling Allah. Some people will tell you, I've been looking for visa. Canada, Canada, Canada. You may think Canada is best for you. Allah might have decided that you will not be somebody except you are in Nigeria. You will get times one million of what you have got in Canada. See, Nigeria is bad. Go to Idu. People are still building houses. Nigeria is bad. Go to Wuse Market. Go to, you still see people counting money. So some people are still going there. UK, they are sleeping on the street. Al Kufu will cut I'm not saying somebody, you want to jack Raja, but consult Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Istikhara. And not be in haste. No, no, I've been doing this. I've been asking. Somebody wants to die. He said, I, I rather not get married. If they don't give me that lady, I'd rather, I rather remain a uh, bachelor, chronic bachelor. Another lady too say, I rather not follow anybody except that one. So I say, I rather not do this also. No. Wallahu ya'alamu wa antum la ta'alamu. Only Allah knows. None of us knows anything. Asa an tukrahu shay'an huwa khayrun lakum. Wa asa an tuhibbu shay'an huwa sharrun lakum. Wallahu ya'alamu wa antum la ta'alamu. Sometimes we may wish, I will have got this, I like this, I like this. Allah might not write it for us in a good faith. It may be a source of travail, source of agony, source of turbulence in life. And Allah will say, no, don't take this. Take this, inshallah. Now another thing that makes prayers need to be accepted is absent mindlessness. What is that? Some people are praying, but they are not there. You will see some, because of their arrogance, they will carry some malas to be doing so of our Quran for them. But his one leg is on pillow, another one on chair, he's changing from Al Jazeera to BBC, from BBC to Hausa version 12, 24, France 24. They are begging Allah on his behalf. But he is busy moving from Al Jazeera to this and that. When you are done, call me. Because he you knows he has some mates. You will scare them, you intimidate them with some mates. Because of that, he doesn't care. That prayer is not going to be accepted. Allah made mention. Prophet Sallam corroborates to that. You want to call Allah. Allah wa antum bin ijada. Call upon Allah and be ascertain, be, be sure that Allah will accept your prayer, but you have to call him the way he wants himself to be called. Is it a shout? No. No. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. No. He doesn't go anywhere. Kulidi Allah. Allah has the beautiful names. Call upon him. There are small Allah Husna. That once you call Allah, instantly you see signs of istijaba. Once you are with Allah. How? Number one, you are in a state of purification. Not the one you are reading Quran, you still put one knife inside fire. So when that fire, when the, the, the knife is red, you now slaughter one, he goes black. That is not from Allah, never from Prophet Muhammad. That prayer will be rejected. Because light of Allah can now reside where the darkness of shaitan is living. Some want to be sick for you know you have committed. Be present there. And you are sure. Don't be spy. Allah says, Tell my servant whatsoever they might have done wrong. 
Don't despair from the mercy of Allah. Don't write yourself off. Like some people, they are calling on Allah, but they are not certain. Because of Kesratul Ma'asi, a case of one fellow in the haram, beneath the Kaaba, he was crying, calling on to Allah. He said, Allahumma furli wa ma'adunnu katafa'am. Oh Allah, forgive me. I doubt if you forgive, if you forgive me. Allahu Akbar. Because of quantum of sins, this and that, Allah says, no. Don't despair. Don't run away. Don't lose hope. However, even if your sins are gathered up to the size of Mount Uhud, like Kilimanjaro, like Zumarok, like Azorok, world of sins, once you do Tawbat and Nasuha, and you return Rabdul Mazolim, what is Rabdul Mazolim? All the things you have collected, orphan's property return it. Even the people you cannot locate, Go and see the imams of your area. They will tell you how to settle their right upon you so that Allah SWT will accept you as a servant. But in the case where somebody, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, you are dancing, you are saying Astaghfirullah. They cannot go together. Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. Inside your heart, you know that you are not doing sick fast. Some of them are doing, they are still planning that. Inna gama wa nasi inji kaza kaza. You still going to do something else. No. If you do that, your prayers are dead. Allah is not in need of it. Inna allah dhin istakbirun an ibadati sayari khuluna jahannam adakhiri. Those who feel that they cannot call Allah with humility, with respect, with decorum. Allah SWT says, sayari khuluna jahannam adakhiri. We will humiliate them in the hell of jahannam. May Allah never humiliate anyone of us. Then, what are those ways? You need to call upon Allah SWT. And with certainty, number one, what are the names of Allah SWT? Don't call name of any other They are tired now. Those genes, they are tired. They are tired. Why they are tired? How do I know they are tired? How do you know? There is no any name of gene you can call today that will give you Lamborghini new tear rubber. They only go to a central bank to go and steal money. They only afford you a used car from Kutonu. From Kutonu. Then call upon Allah. Call upon Allah. Who are Raza, Kuzuluku, Watil Mati, Yeruzuku, Maya Shah, Bugari Kusab? Allah gives sustenance. Allah gives wealth to whomsoever he deems fit without anybody having audacity to challenge Allah. Allah doesn't use certificate. He doesn't use certificate. He uses his own. That name upon you. May Allah send more name to all of us. Then we should also give Allah his rights. You call on Allah and you are calling somebody else. No. If you do that, Allah adna shuraka and shirk. Allah says, I expose, I get rid of whomsoever. As God partner with me, calling upon me, still as God partner with me. I get rid of him. Because tarak to who was shirkahu. Anybody who does that, I leave him with the shirk. Allah hates it. Lam ya lid wa lam yulad wa lam ya kunnahu kufu wa naad. When you call upon Allah SWT, state of purification, your mind is there and then you do what Prophet Allah used to do. Allahu Akbar. You exalt the name of Allah first before you start calling that I need this, I need that. No. Exalt the name of Allah SWT. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, Ya Zal Jalal, Wal Ikram, Ya Arham Ar Rahimin, Ya Man Iza Da'au, Iza Du'ya, Uz Ajaba. Just, you know how to lobby Allah by mentioning His names. Not just the Bayayinu. Kul Kal Dubnani Kara, Wakana Lahuna Unani Kara, Abu Kara, Umu Kara, you see Kara, Ujim. But for Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, your mind is there. Then you do istighfar before you call Allah or something. And that istighfar should not just be a ceremonial istighfar. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Qulidna Allah hawdu rahman ayyamma tadi wa salahu al-asma'u husna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never ever reject any component of our act of ibadah. May Allah never reject our prayers. May Allah make all of us from among those whom any time they call upon him, inshallah, he will grant them their request and make them to hand up in our jannah to for doubt. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم في ملايات تاريخ الحكيم أقول ما تسعين صوابا فمن الله فإن ختم فمن نفسي وشيطان أستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل دم وقطيئة إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا عقبة للمتقين فلا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وصلاة وسلاما إلى أتمان الأكملان على خير ولد أدنان نبي الإنس والجان الذي جاءنا بالكتاب كشمس في دحاها وجاءنا بالسنة كالقمر إذا تلاها فمن عمل به معاش في نور النهار إذا جلاها 
ومن عارض عنه ما تخبط في ظلمة الليل إذا إجشاها مع عشر المسلمين اتقوا الله حق تقواه وراكبوا في السر ونجوا وعلموا دون شك أنكم إليه راجعون وعلى أعمالكم محاسبون إن خيرا فخير وإن شر فشر وتدبروا قول الحبيب المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ادعوا الله وأنتم موقنون بالإجابة إذا دعوتم الله سبحانه وتعالى ملبين إليه منيبين إليه مستثرين إليه متعب إن شاء الله سيستجاب لكم ويطبق أعمالكم ويصدق خطاكم عباد الله إلا الله أمركم أمرا بدا في بنفسه وصلنا بما لا يكتي وعملة عرشه وصلت بكم من إنسكم وجنكم وقال وزم قائل إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم وتسليما الله مصلى على محمد وعلى محمد وسلم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر كيد عداء الدين وأصر بارك الموحدين برحمة كرام الرحمن يا رب العالمين اللهم جد الأمن والأمان في نجيرة وجعل بلدا آمنا مطمئنا رقاعا سكاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم ركلنا جنة الفردوس مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستفرك وأتوب إليك قوموا إلى صلاتكم رحمكم الله